Cassie. I'm here with Abby, and we are going to be doing the look for this Halloween season, the black swan. I can't wait for this one. <laughs> I'm excited. It's going to be really easy to do, you know, once you know how. I'm excited to see you recreate it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing that you want to start off with is a white foundation. Now, bearing in mind that you're going to have quite strong black eyes here, I'm going to avoid this area because that's going to be painted in black. So I'm going to use a stiff, flat brush to apply my foundation. So I like to just use the tip of my brush around the edges of the face just to really buff the product out so you can't really see where it starts and stops. And then you can make it really pale in the centre of the face over the T-zone. I'm going to go right up to the lash line on the lower lid. I think whenever you're doing a white base, you really need to kind of build it in a couple of layers. Okay, so we've got the foundation on now. I'm just going to powder over it just to set it. Right, so once you've got your base perfect, we're going to move on to the black eyes. Now, I'm going to use a flat brush so it follows the contours of the face. So I've got my gel eyeliner and my brush, and I'm just going to put it into all the bristles. Now, if you use quite a big brush, you can cover a large surface area in one go. Now, I'm going to sit the brush into the eye shape, and I'm going to follow directly up so that I cover the brow. I'm going to go all the way over the eyelid. I think because it's black swan, it's quite nice to have some feathery brush strokes so you don't have to get the lines all perfect. In fact, if you can see where it's been smudged with little bristle marks, it actually adds to the effect. So up the side here, you want to follow the shape of the cheekbone going up. And then I'm going to take the brush off the skin as I get towards the hairline because I don't want it to go right into the hairline. And we'll do the other eye. Now, if you're doing this at home, you're going to be looking in the mirror. But it's really important for me to now also look in the mirror to make sure I've got this symmetrical. I'm going to do a little bit of blending as well, so that's always a great chance to even everything out. Okay, so I've got some black eyeshadow now on my angled brush because angles draw lines, so I want to draw a line down the nose. So I'm just going to start to shade. Once I've got my rough shape, I could then fill it in with a bit more gel if I wanted to. Now this would be the stage where you could sharpen up that line with a little bit of liquid. I'm just going to go back to my gel now and just go over this line. Okay, now we want to coat the lashes on the top with mascara. I'm going to line the inside of the waterline with a white liner. Okay, so I've got the basis on now of this look. I'm going to do a little bit of contour in the cheeks just to really give some definition that will fall in line with the shape of the eye. Just using a contour powder and a fan brush, I'm just going to sit some colour into where the hollows of the cheeks are and almost bring it down towards the corner of the mouth. Okay, now for the black lip. Now a great tip for getting your black lip to stay all night is to use a gel eyeliner as a base. So the same eyeliner that we've used on the eyes. And we're just going to put this on the lips. Okay, so that's just a rough line with the gel eyeliner and then I'm going to go over with the lipstick. So we've got the lipstick which is going to give us a really nice sheen and finish off around the edge of the lip line. Now what we can start to do is add a little bit of white liquid line just over the black just to give it a bit more texture within the eye and make it a bit more like feathers. Now I'm going to use a cotton bud with a little bit of micellar water and I'm just going to take off tiny little sections of this black and this is where I'm going to be just putting a little bit of white in. So you can see we've got some space there and we can paint a little bit of white in now with a liquid liner. I'm using a brush but you can just use it straight from the liner if you wanted to. And then if you want to put some straight over the black so that it kind of merges into a little bit of a grey, you can do that too. And then I'm just going to shade a little bit around here as well. Oh, you've turned into a black swan. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You've got to try this at home for Halloween, it's going to be amazing. 